Welcome to Walker's Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker bringing you a review of this week's stock market. On Monday, Pfizer announced that their COVID-19 vaccine was more than 90% effective in late-stage testing and markets took off. The Dow Industrials rose 834 points or 2.95%. However, the Nasdaq Composite ended down 1.5% as investors dumped tech in favor of cheaper cyclical stocks. On Tuesday, the JOLTS job openings report for September saw job openings increase by 1.3% to 6.436 million. The rotation out of tech stocks continued with the Nasdaq Composite sliding 1.4% and the Dow Industrials gaining 262 points. Ten-year treasuries continued rising, yielding 0.96%, and West Texas Intermediate Crude rose 2.7% to $41.39 a barrel. On Wednesday, news of soaring coronavirus infections in the U.S. caused a resurgence back into tech with the Nasdaq Composite jumping 2%. On Thursday, the Consumer Price Index for October remained unchanged and jobless claims for the week ending November 17th saw initial claims decline by 48,000 to 709,000, better than expectations, and the fourth straight weekly decline. The EIA Petroleum Status Report for the week ending November 6 saw crude oil inventory increase 4.3 million barrels. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell gave a speech in which he said the economic outlook remains uncertain, even with a vaccine, and notes that the spreading virus could be challenging. Daily COVID-19 cases continue to rise with a record of more than 144,000 infections confirmed in the U.S. and New York and Chicago imposing new restrictions to stop the spread. Markets fell with the Dow Industrials losing 317 points and the Nasdaq Composite dropping 7 tenths of a percent. On Friday, the producer price index for October rose 3 tenths of a percent on top of the prior month's four-tenths of a percent gain, and consumer sentiment for November fell 4.8 points to 77. Markets open higher but volatile, with investors cheering progress on the vaccine front and dreading the increased surge of coronavirus cases. This is Walker's Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker, and I'll see you again next week.